It's like being in a college library, actually. Oh, very good. Let's be there. Look around. Just when you feel ready, just describe this place for me. Yes, yeah, so I see. Uh, I see a woman uh, behind the desk. She's in charge of something. Okay. Uh, lots of books. Um, and I'm walking in, and uh, I'm not sure exactly where I'm going yet, or what. You I'm don't need to know that. Before. Just allow it to unfold. Yeah. Can I want to ask you a couple of questions? You said you were walking in. So do you feel you're in a physical form in this place? It's really like half and half. It's strange. It's okay. Like, Share that. That's important. Yeah, it's like I'm more transparent <laughs> than I am. In That's real good. Life, but not <laughs> quite a ghost. Yeah. Not a ghost. Okay. When you say transparent, this body that's transparent, is it the one you're occupying now or do you look different? It's, it's similar, uh, but not identical. Um, How is it different? Um, hmm, um, it's almost like it changes when I talk about it. Okay, let it do that. I'm How does saying, it change? Yeah. How does it change? It's like it can turn into smoke and then come back. Oh, uh, wow. Very good. What color is that smoke? So at first it was a dark color smoke and then it poofed into uh, <laughs> white smoke. Uh, okay. Like from my grandfather's cigar. I remember oh. watching that. As a kid. Okay, so that's what I would remind you of. That's good. Okay, well, I have some questions about this place. All right, you saw a woman at a desk when you came in. Is she still there? Mm -hmm. Yes. Describe her for me. She has features like my mom. She has uh, brown hair and a kind face. Okay. Um, looks professional. We're going to ask this woman. What is this place that we find ourselves in? Where are we? Oh, my God. There's things I've longed to know that are here. I, I like see. Crying about that. It's okay. You do whatever you want. I want to kind of walk you through it so you can make that discovery for yourself. So let's be there. Okay, this lady is obviously very lovely and wants to talk to us. So she has told us, that there are things that you've longed to know. So are these things here within these books in the library? Yes. And she's actually opening one that's kind of oh. like a, a guide to where everything is. So we have this guide to the library. I would like to ask her a, one, a couple more questions before we move through it. I'd like to know if this library has a name, something we would know it by. Oh, um, if not, that's fine. But if she was willing to share that information, I mean, honestly, it feels it feels <laughs> ca cathedral like. Yes, it, it feels like a person could chant Om. It would kind of like resonate. <laughs> Absolutely. So I would like to know then this library. Where is this library located? Where are we now? What is this place? Um, I don't know how we got here. Yeah, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So, is this library the place where all of us go to find our records? I think so. I would like to thank this woman for giving us a guide to this place, to this library. But you have an inner knowing, so we don't need anyone to tell us where to go right now. So we're going to do something really fun. It's an adventure. What we're going to do is just be still. We came here to find something important. So I would like you right now to hold out your hands in this energetic form. And we're going to walk around the library. 
with your hands in front of you, just going to feel the energy of these books. And I want you to stop in front of whatever shelf or whatever book we're meant to be in front of today and just take your time and don't force it. Just enjoy the experience of looking around this place, getting a vibe for it, walking, and just tell me when, when do we get to these books, the right books. Okay, so, so there's, uh, there's one that's like in a green binder and it's way up high. Okay, what I want you to do is hold your hands up mm-hmm. and I want you to summon that book to come off the high shelf and into your hands. You can do that. It's going to come off by itself. Let's walk over to one of the tables. There's going to be tables because this is a library. Okay. Let's, okay, let's go over to the tables. As we get to the tables, could you describe the tables for me? Yeah, they look like wooden tables. Place the book on the table. It's a big book. I just want to put it down. Okay, now, I want you to keep your hands hovered over this book. And I'm going to state this with you, okay? And I want you to energetically allow the book to open by itself. And as this book opens... This book is to open to the most appropriate page or chapter that we need to read today. Just allow it. When you're ready, tell me what it says or what you see. If they're images, words, it doesn't matter. It's going to present to you the proper way. So it's just like... The page number 472 comes up. 472. What what do you see or feel coming from page 472? I can't quite see it yet. Um, That's okay. It's not ready to be seen. Just allow it. You may get it in the as feelings or images it could come any way at all there's no right or wrong way oh well i think oh well i think that's the month that i vaporized like that you vaporized like i had a genuine two out of body experience in 1972 and oh. that's why I, yeah that's what i'm sensing the book open to that and it's 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 the it's the space that i became on that day the earth was in my chest i was reaching out to the planets and i realized was that that if i didn't come back soon i was not coming back i well as as we've been talking there's a you know there was that sense of that kundalini rising thing that i that happened just abruptly in April of 72. And I just fell through the mattress um, and just was just becoming non-physical. It was quite exhilarating and uh, frightening. Um, And, uh, you know, I, it's, it happened on the day I decided to move out and, and apparently at my birth, I died or nearly died and had to be resuscitated a couple of times. And okay. it was some kind of replay of that. Um, and so when I opened the book there, it's, it's the, it's the spaciousness. It's not anything concrete is trying to just remind me of that. Okay, so something about spaciousness. Um, al- allow that to come. Look at the book too as you're doing that. Look at those pages. And for some reason, we were brought here to learn something about that experience you had. And the answer is in this book. So just allow anything that comes to you is going to come from this book. It's talking to you. So I'm going to ask this book because this book has a vibration. 
It's alive. It's alive with your energy from your experiences. So I'm going to ask this book to speak to you. And I'm saying to this book, please tell Richard why you summoned him here today. What is the information you feel he needs? He's coming up on this experience again. And uh, I, I just want to be a reminder and um, I want to say um, to not be shocked by it. Um, what should what what exactly should Richard not be shocked by? The sense of being non-physical. Okay. Tell us more. Uh, um, when when will he experience being non-physical? Is this something an experience that's going to be coming for him that he should be anticipating? You know, it, it could be on the on his birthday in a few days when he turns seventy-two. It could be April when he's seventy-two. But there's something about the four seventy-two. It's going to be something non, some sense of non-physical. I, I just would maybe it's a plant medicine journey. It could be that thing planned. Uh, it when could is be the yoga stuff that I'm doing to please? I'm noticing that Richard's birthday is this month of October. And there are so many things that are supposed to happen this month. This is supposed to be an energetically amazing and transformative month here on planet Earth. I would like to know if you could please share more about what exactly we are looking at around the time of Richard's birthday. Can, are you allowed to tell us anything about that at all? So as you say that, Bella, <laughs> it's, it's like the pages that came earlier are going one at a time backwards toward the front of the book. And the print is really big, like, <laughs> like, like reading would be in, a, in the first grade. Okay, you know, and, and I just, <laughs> it just is so weird. It's like my face is so close to the letters. Mm -hmm. I, I can see the type, the, the typewriter that put them there, but I can't recognize the full letter. It's almost like I'm getting a Knights of Templar mystery kind of. Oh, good. Okay. Feeling like I'm so close to mm. what's there, I can't read it or see it. Right. Uh, it's like having a huge magnifying glass um, and only being able to see part of one letter at a time. Are you able to give us some clarification? We're having trouble getting the full picture. Could you allow us to see it more clearly and not just in portions? Okay, so I can now come back from the page and I can see in the upper left corner, there's some kind of drawing. It's colorful. It's going to be the drawing that fits the word. I mean, there's reds and yellows in it, and I sense a smiling face. Oh, uh, lovely. In it. Uh -huh. um, it, it's almost like um, a woman who is also a flower. Uh, oh, okay. Smiling, you know. Um, and, uh, and it's welcoming. It's a very welcoming feeling. What is the, what is the symbolism? What does this image mean for him? What are, what are you trying to tell him by showing him this? Um, something about sweetness in my heart. Um, Just, it'll come. And, yeah. And some pages. Some pages have told some frightening stories. 
and to not be and not be scared of the stories. Uh, some of the stories could feel scary, and and this flower lady is saying not to be afraid of the stories. You've understood them in a certain way that in the past that's been scary. There's another way to see them. Could she share more about what these stories are? Some of it's our family. Yeah, it's like a it's like a book about our family story. Part of it is, uh, and and the stories have have felt so hard in the way that I know them. Some of them. Uh, How would she like you to view these stories? It's almost like she's touching my third eye and she's telling me that I can just be, I can be calm and I can see reality without, without it uh, undoing me. Uh, right. I would like to know if she would tell you how she would like you to do that. Does she have suggestions as to how you can actually do that in your day-to-day -day life here on earth? She says that what I'm doing now is good. That uh, that doing the doing this practice that I'm doing is a good one. It's going to help me with that. What else would she like to tell you? Um, that I don't have to look for anything or anybody specifically. Um, I don't have to feel like a like I'm lost seeking something out. Uh, mm -hmm. It's more like everything's already here. I'd like to know this beautiful flower lady. I can see her, but I would like to know if she has a name or who she is. I want to say it's my mother's name. I want to say that it's Evelyn. Evelyn. Okay. And I'd like to know, Evelyn, how are you connected to Richard? She's like a beautiful mothering spirit. Evelyn, I would like to know, have you ever been incarnated in, a, incarnated in the same physical lifetime as Richard right now, the one he's living? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it. It's the spirit of my mother. The information that you're saying for him not to be afraid of something and for him, there's a sense of anticipation or energy about this October. Does this have anything to do with the Earth's split into 5D? I mean, so when you say that. Yes. Yes it feels like I now have a blanket over me. It's no, it's like I'm being tucked. It's like I'm being tucked in. Oh, I can feel a, a red blanket. It comes up to my neck and it's, but it's bigger than a blanket. It's like, it's got a, a thickness of okay. maybe six inches. And it's, uh, it's some kind of uh, covering. Uh, it's a uh, um, like this is going to be a bedtime story now that we have Richard all tucked in for his bedtime story I would like you to begin to tell it to him yes yeah and this thing has like magic protective qualities I c it's like I'm protected from certain energies so, so first, first off, electromagnetic and microwave stuff. Um, to be clear of that, um, and there's emotional energies that don't have permission to come on the other side right now, and uh, and it, yeah, I mean, I can almost like visualize sharp 
things like maybe arrow points or spear points and they can't get through either. Um, there's, it's, it's almost like there's, there was some kind of war. Uh, I can almost see like Native Americans uh, riding and screaming and, and shooting arrows. And it's like it's coming at the lower right side of my abdomen. Blanket is stopping all the, all the things from coming. Uh, is this, did Evelyn give you this blanket? Is this a gift from her? I don't know. It just appeared uh, as soon as you said the word 5D. Is Evelyn still with us at the moment? I can see her. I can see her in the upper left. So as soon as I mentioned the shift to 5D, this blanket appeared. Why is that? Could you tell Richard why that happened? Oh, <laughs> yeah, she wants to, she wants to protect me from something about the change that, uh, it, it either would be hurtful or I would see it that way. Evelyn, are you able to tell us anything about what this thing is that he's to be protected from so that he can be ready or that we can work on it before it happens? So there's, it's like there's, it's like there's past energies that want to like, like penetrate something. And it's, you know, it's almost like it would harpoon me and keep me from being able to move. Uh, this energy sounds very intense. Is this, is this energy, what exactly is it? Where is it coming from? So, you know, I, 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 our family, I think, was involved in military action against the Native Americans. Oh, so this is an old energy. Yes. I'd like to ask Evelyn, could you please scan Richard's body for us as we're here with you and tell me if there are any cords or attachments to this incident that you feel we should sever today that will eliminate this attack. We want to prevent that attack. Yeah. What? I, yeah. I somehow sense that she has the authority or okay. something to bring peace to the natives that are demanding justice. How does Evelyn do that? She it's has, she has a powerful voice and it's almost like a like a spell kit she offers them some kindness in her voice and it calms everything would evelyn be willing to take that action for us yeah i think she's already doing that So things seem quiet again now. So, Bella, I have to tell you, <laughs> my physical sensations are 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 odd. They, I feel like I'm not quite in water and not quite in air. Now, while you do that, I sense we're moving. I'd like to thank Evelyn so much for all her help. Mm. She's going to recede now because we're leaving the library. So here's what I want to do right now. Stay in that place of water and air. And we're going to close that scene in the library with very much love and thanks to all who have assisted us there with love and thanks for the green book. And we know, now that we have discovered this place, that that green book is available anytime that you should need it. And you are welcome to go to this place at any time you need to, to learn more. Okay. So as we close that scene and have put the book back on the shelf, it's going up.
I'm going to count backwards from three to one. And as I count backwards from three to one, we are going back into that beautiful tunnel of time, traveling through time and space, through the air and the water, to an important day, experience, or time that we need to see today that will offer more information. So three, we're traveling through time. Two, almost there. And one, be there now, allowing the images to flow up from your soul and just let yourself get settled in this new place and time. And whenever you are ready, you can begin sharing. Yes, so what I'm seeing is in a tunnel or a cave, and I have hold of a rope or a vine, and I'm pulling my way up to an opening where I can see some light. And so I'm going up that rope and getting closer to that opening. My sense is it's going to open onto some ground somewhere. Okay, and so I'm, I'm out of that and on a bit of a mountain um, with a wide view, a big, beautiful view. I can look out over some valleys and some other mountains. Um, the air is really clean and clear. Um, I don't see anyone else here right now and I'm kind of at peace here just there's wind there's those mountain winds that are so sweet they like whisper do you feel that you're in a physical body right now in this place no no not not physical I mean I have some sense of a form but it doesn't have thickness or substance like like I do here in the bed. Yeah. Like a ball of light? Yeah. I have a shape, but yeah, I'm basically a, a, some energy. Take a look at the shape. Describe that shape to me. So when I was down in the cave, I felt more of a human shape. Uh, now that I'm up there it's a uh, it's a human shape um, I can see I can see eyes if I focus I mean I'm I'm nervous here Bella because <laughs> it's, it's gray again the form this this form so it has like a human or humanoid shape to it mm -hmm. the energy now, I'd like you to just feel the essence of this place where we are. Do you feel that you are on earth? I don't think so. Tell me about the air. Does it feel cool or warm? Can you tell? It's a cool air. Look up at the sky. Describe that for me. So there's a a redness uh, in the sky. It's it has some similarities to Earth, but there's a redness to it, like the air is red. The air is red. Let's keep looking. You have a wonderful vantage point here. As you look out over this expanse in front of you, do you see any structures like buildings or anything like that? Yeah, it's like I can it's like I can travel, like I'm not bound, you know, like I can jump off this and fly. We're we're so in tune. No, I was actually <laughs> doing it as you were forming the words. 
and it's a little cottage down in the valley and okay. it has a light on inside. Yeah. And uh, so here we are and it's wooden and it's brown and it's quaint. Um, and there's a light inside. I don't know if anybody's there, but the light's shining through the window. Tell me the details that you get. So, yeah. So if, if you were to rub your hands over it, it would be bumpy. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, it looks brown like it's made out of some wood-like substance, but it's not. Um, and uh, it feels strong. It feels like person could put their hands and body against it and lean against it and feel some kind of strength is there uh, a door to this place there is, yeah there is a door i'm standing next to the door um and uh i'm i'm thinking that i'm supposed to go in all right okay so going inside and the first sense is that the first thing i see is like would have been a scene from the old west where there's just rustic kinds of things in a fireplace and food in a big you know pot uh, and then when i turn to the left to see other things it's it's different over there how is it uh, different there's it's almost like it it's, it's like it opens into some other dimensions. Uh, it's like there's slots in the wall, like almost uh. like like bunk beds, but the wall itself is like sticks out. And and I can I'm going in now and I'm crawling between two of them, going somewhere, and it's going outside the house part, but it's going somewhere. Um, and now it's going down, but not too fast. Um, and it's brown and it's wooden like, and it's a narrow crawl way. Um, and I'm going to come out to another light, like it's like the top of a lighthouse. Oh, tell me about that. Describe that for me. Oh, and I feel sad. Like. It's like there's a storm and I'm in the part of the lighthouse where there's a light and there's big waves crashing. Um, and I mean, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm okay and everything. It's like, uh, and I don't know yet if there's any ships out there, you know, depending on me for anything, but, uh, it's a very turbulent ocean right now. Okay. Is it daytime or nighttime? It's nighttime. So the light is really bright. It's really, you know, you can really see it shining brightly. Are you still in that gray form or has that changed? I had lost contact with my form, actually. Uh, <laughs> it just a sense of being you know, in the lighthouse, almost as like a pure energy, like, um, like, like formless, just being aware that I'm there. Let's, let's be in this lighthouse, just in that moment. Yeah. And tell me if you get a sense of why you're there. Yeah. So when you said that, it's like I became the light, my energy in the light became the same. And as it went out over the ocean, it all got calm. Very good. So you, as the light, were able to calm that stormy ocean. Yes. That's a beautiful thing. So I can see the reflection of my light on the ocean as I spin around and cover the ocean, and everything looks very calm. It's like a moonlit night, moons on the ocean as well. Um, and I'm sensing that something or someone is coming. Uh, they're not here yet, but I'm not alone. 
and someone's going to be coming like over the water energetically like like not like human limitation there's some presence coming over the water yeah coming toward me in the lighthouse and it it has a reddish feminine form mm -hmm. um and it wants to say something or just give an expression uh, is this can you describe this this form for me that you're looking at it it's like it's almost like a a gigantic genie out of a lamp uh and is you know it's close now and it's right outside the window of the lighthouse um okay and so if i look there so some mixed feelings you know like is this totally cool or not um and i'm 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 looking to i'm looking for a face i'm pretty sure there's going to be a face there it's almost like i saw it for a minute and then it was gone just let it slowly materialize for you There's some, there's some sense of the color changing to white. And instead of a face, it's like there's an energetic arm that's coming around the lighthouse. It's like very friendly. Um, it's an angelic kind of feeling. Mm -hmm. uh, like being wrapped in white wings. Are these wings around you right now? Yes. Very good. Let's enjoy that feeling. How does that make you feel to be within these wings? Oh, I mean, I have an emotional crying about it. It's like, it's like, it's like very precious. It's like, it's like being held in some precious way. Th this being that is holding you, is there a sense of familiarity? I think it's a mother presence. Can you ask this being what what we would know her as? A name that we would know her by or a, any any way we could identify her? She's some kind of grandmother. Mhm. Mm I'd like to ask her to help you remember. She comes, she comes from before the passage. That's the words that come. What does she mean by the passage? I, you know, I want to, I want to think it's before my people came to this country. She came from before the passage. What? Ask her about her life here when she was here at that time. How would we identify her? How would we know her? Did she belong to a specific group of people that we would know? I think she's the she's the love that carried my ancestors across the ocean. Could she expand on that for us a little bit to help us understand? Yes, she's standing she's standing on a coastline like near a lighthouse as her loved ones are leaving. Describe her for me. She looks like some kind of 
Irish woman dressed in plain clothes uh, with an apron still on and waving goodbye and she's crying and she's praying for the passage of her loved ones. So what is she looking at exactly? What is the scene in front of her? She's looking at the ship leaving. Okay. Does she know why they are leaving? Uh, it's been terrible here. It's been terrible. There's been hatred and famine. And, uh, and it's you know, she, her wishes are with the ones who are leaving that they do well. What is this place called that she's that she is in right now? I mean, I would say Ireland. You yourself, where are you as this is happening? Where do you sense that you are? Are you in a physical body at this time as you watch no, this? No, no, I'm hovering maybe 40 or 50 feet above her left shoulder. I see her blonde short hair. Yeah. She's stocky. Yeah, she's just dressed in plain uh, pastel colored clothes, still has an apron on. Like she's the one who's been taking care of people, like like she's their mother. So these are her children that are leaving? I think so, yeah. And many friends, very likely. Her prayers are so much more powerful. That's what, that's what, that's what I want to tell her. I want to tell her that I see the effect of your love and your prayers, and it made it all the way to the other shore. And how is she responding to that? Is she saying anything to you? Ah. <sighs> uh. I, I just I just feel my side of it. Can she tell us why you were brought to this place today? Uh, I was here to feel the intensity of the love. Now, know that we are observing this, and it's okay to feel all that that beautiful emotion as you remember. So you are still the light being. We're going to close this scene. And you as a light being, it seems that you're being shown many things that you need to see today. So as we thank this woman for sharing her story with us, we are going to count again backwards from three to one. And as I count backwards from three to one, we're just going to step back into the comfort and safety of that tunnel of time. And we're going to travel through time and space to another important day or event or experience that is important that you're shown today. So three, traveling through time. Two, almost there, and one. We are there now, so just let yourself settle. Let the images flow up from your soul. When you're ready to share what's going on or what you're sensing. So it was like flying into a scene uh of Hong Kong or Singapore, some big city with lots of high rises and lights. Um, and I can see the coastline. I can see the lights on the coastline. It's nighttime. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm drawn toward one of the high rises. There's lights on inside there. I can, I can see the window and the light. Uh, it's like there's some meeting going on. Okay, let's go in. Are you still in the body of this light being? Yes. Let's go in. Let's, let's float in there. When you get a sense of what's happening or why you're there, you can let me know. So 
the long table, a lot of executive looking people there. Someone's walking around behind them. Some presentation is going on. Let's focus for a moment on this presentation. It's whatever it is, all I can make out now is the big screen and lots of colors. And uh, it has an exciting feel to it. Um, it's going to be something new. Um, and people are sitting and looking at it, wondering about it. Um, it's moving, actually. It's got, like, moving lights. It's almost like the northern lights, honestly, on the screen. And it's like they can come out of the screen a little bit. Uh, mostly reds and yellows, strangely. And I can see a little blue-green. It's like the northern lights are rolling out of that screen. And people are marveling at that. How, how did the northern lights come out of the screen? in this high-rise building, in this place. Well, let's find out. Let's observe. I want you to listen. Listen to what they're saying. And if they're speaking in another language, you, you will understand it. It's like they're, it's like they're stunned. They've, they all realize wordlessly that they've come upon the energy of life itself. They were busy doing something else, but now that this has come out of the screen, they have, they, they're speechless. And whatever the meeting was about is not about that anymore. It's about this. Why did this light present itself to these people specifically? They're going to do something with it. Are they going to do something positive with it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can I can see the front guy, the head guy who was given the presentation. He's Tell wearing me glasses. He he appears to be Asian. He's wearing glasses, but he's got a kind face, like he has some old soul wisdom in himself, and it's almost like he was prepared for this his whole life. It just was surprising that it happened now so he he was surprised by this presentation what is this energy going to be used for how is he going to utilize it what is he being told to do with it so i see the energy like going over him surrounding him and like even entering him and, and going downward from his head to his feet all the way to the bottom of the high-rise building. It's like he's a conduit or something for it to be able to get to people on the street. Um, the people who aren't privy to be in the high-rise, it's, it's going to make it out to them because he's willing to stand there and let it flow through him. What is this energy specifically? Why, why was it brought to him? What exactly is it that this energy symbolizes? It's whenever, whenever it's sensed, people stop what they're doing and they get a real feeling of who they are. All their distractions in this deep, deep sense, this archaic sense of, of who they really are. How, where did this energy come from? Who sent it? I, you know, I don't know. I only saw it come out of the screen. screen and... Uh, I'm sure there was something on it before that was very 2D looking, you know. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, it's like alive and, and filling this room. I would like to know why this energy chose this particular person to receive it. Or is it being given to people in other places too? It's, oh, oh, I see what you're saying now. 
he was willing. That's why. That's what I'm hearing. He was willing and he had prepared. He knew something like this would come. Uh, he was just going through his daily life, but he wasn't so attached to it that he rejected the energy. You know, he when it came, he stood still and became his true self. Does this energy have anything to do with the planet's shift into 5D? I, I want to say yes. Will this man give you any more information? He's actually able to turn and look at me. Let's talk to him. We're going to tell him that we know he's doing something very important. And we were brought here today to see it. So we would like him to share more about what exactly this is so that we can take this information back with us. Yeah, he's downloading it now. Like I'm standing in front of him mm -hmm. and it's, it's going inside of me. Are you supposed to become a conduit also just like him for this yeah. energy? Oh my God, he's so precious. As it downloads, you'll have an understanding of exactly what this is and what's happening. Yeah, so he's he's facing the energy again now, and I'm complete in it. I feel wrapped in it almost like a cocoon. Uh, and it's like it, it's carrying me somewhere outside of the building into the... I'm flying again inside this yellow and red energetic smoke show energy. <laughs> yeah, so I, the energy knows where it's taking me. Yeah, it's taking me somewhere. And I'm, I'm actually landing on the shore of some lake. Mm -hmm. And it's dusk. And I must look like the burning bush or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He was there. And I'm going to spend the night there, I think. I'm going to just be with this energy during the night and somehow become more one with it. This energy, as you once you have become one with it, what is it? How are you supposed to utilize this energy? What is the process? What is it for? Like, what is your next, what is your job as far as that goes? Yeah, so my sense is right now, so time is speeding up as you're talking, and and all the light energy is going completely inside my form so that I don't look like a, a light show anymore. <laughs> I look more like a human being. Okay. Are you are you in the body of Richard? What do you look like? It's a male body. Um, mm -hmm. It's tall. Um, walking along the side of the lake, going somewhere like on a to the next village. Tell me about and the village. I'm coming over the the little uh, ridge there, and I can see the village. There's a uh, there's little houses there. I'm coming up on the main street. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a dirt road, actually. It feels something like from a story that you might hear about a, a yogic monk or a Buddhist monk traveling the countryside kind of a thing. Um, I have a question about this countryside, about where you are. Yeah. Look around this place. Is this earth still? This this has an earth feel to it. Um, this feels like this has a lot of earth feel to it. Um, not hundred percent, 
that a lot of earth feel to. Tell me about this village. Describe the structures, the buildings to me. So it's all uh, small houses and shops. Do they look like earth shops and houses? Uh -huh. Like they would have looked two or three hundred years ago. Are there any people walking around? It's nighttime now. And, okay. Uh, so I see a few lanterns. Tell me about the people. Let's go peek. Okay. Okay. So there's uh, a mother sitting with a child at a table. Looks like a dining table. And there's a man walking around in the other room. It looks like a small family. Yeah. Oh, I wish I was. Uh, I, I wish I had girl description words. That's okay. I do. I, so just tell if me. I were to, if I were to guess. <laughs> yeah. They, they, they look like something from uh, that a person might have seen a couple of hundred years ago. Kind of okay. Plain. Um, everything in there is kind of plain, not very ornamental at all. Mm -hmm. um, uh, just uh, kind of this is the village we live here and we survive here and you know um, but there's not extravagances or luxuries mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't see much in the way of jewelry maybe a pearl necklace listen to them speak tell me what you think about their language i want to i want to say swedish what color hair do they have they're blonde scandinavian kind of let's listen what are they talking about the, the mom is sharing some information with her little son. Um, and it may be about the school that he goes to. Okay. Um, and she's talking to him about that. The, uh, the father figure has a pipe and is working on a fire. Um, and uh, everything's peaceful. Okay. Uh, now... With this energy that you have absorbed into yourself, what you have more of a knowing. It's going to give you more of a knowing. Yeah, Why are you there good. in this particular yeah. place at this time? Let the energy so tell you that. Yeah. So they can see their descendants. Are I'm these sure. your dis are these your descendants as Richard? You know, it's these people's and mine. Yeah. It's so it's so that they can see their descendants and see them with love and know that their life has this meaning that they may not often stop and pay attention to. So you're meant to get this message about that? I, they're, when I walk in, it's going inside of them. It's happening as I'm standing oh, there. Can they see you with their eyes? No. They okay. got frozen. They just got oh. frozen where they were. But they have this awareness and they get it. They can actually look at each other in a new way now. And they, they appreciate something they didn't appreciate before. It's not about survival, just survival anymore. They're seeing something in each other that they are the seed for something greater to come. And, and they're deeply moved by that. From your perspective, as you hold this wisdom and energy, why this particular family of descendants? What, what is the importance of this particular moment? I almost think I'm the little boy. So here, it, I'm sensing that you've infused yourself with this light. Going yeah, back. I feel it in my physical body on this bed. Yeah. Now I would like to ask you, as as you infuse this self, this person, with this energy, will this since we've gone back, will this be affecting the incarnation of Richard now from the beginning? How how is this how do we? How does this energy change things or affect things in the present, here and now? I can just tell you right now. I have a 
a lot of goosebumps. I have a sense that the space in the room that I'm in just got way bigger. Um, <laughs> and there's some sense strange as it, it seems the opposite of what it should be that my body actually feels more dense than it did when I first came here. Like I feel heavier, like I'm making a deeper dent in the bed. It's a lot of light yeah. to take in has to integrate. Yeah. Do you have a sense that you need um, to visit another experience to bring this light someplace else right now? Do we need to go back or do we need? No, I, I've already, whatever happened, happened instantaneously. And the weird thing is it feels like my left leg by itself is floating in the air. I'm, I'm physically feeling this. So it's very interesting. <laughs> So what we're going to do now, we're going to allow your body, we're not going to add anything more. We're going to allow your body to integrate this light. But what we're going to do while that happens is we are going to thank all of the beings in this entire light being experience who have participated with us today in any aspect with great thanks and we honor them. I am going to count backwards from three to one and we're going to go back to the beautiful garden where we started and we're going to do some work there so i'm going to close this scene in this house and i am going to count backwards from three to one and we're going to move through the tunnel of time back to that bench in the beautiful garden so three traveling through time and space back to the beautiful garden of peace and tranquility Two, we're almost there, and one. We are back in the beautiful garden. And now that we have settled in there, I would like to know if the higher self of Richard would like to come through and speak to us today. Hmm. So I am grounding in the garden. I'm just laying on my back, looking up at the sky, and I'm feeling the earth mm -hmm. in, a, you, in a new, very yes. dense way. You're going to feel different, but I'm going to allow your consciousness to kind of step aside because you've had a lot. Just rest. And I'd like okay. your higher self, allow the energy of your higher self that knows everything, the, the, the highest aspect of your being, to step in. Because that higher self will be able to answer questions and speak to us. So I would like to know if the higher self would like to speak to us and answer. We have so many questions. Would like to answer questions and give us clarification today. Okay. Maybe not up for a lot of questions, but uh, they the higher sound good. Okay. <laughs> so we'll only keep your higher self for a moment. Am I speaking to the higher <laughs> self right now? Yes. Well, we've had quite an adventure today. We visited the Akashic Records, which um, I think we have a really strong idea of why we were there. And the, the in, being the light being, we traveled every place and received a beautiful gift. Richard has a wonderful gift now that he needs to implement and utilize. So what guidance can you give him? about how to use this gift. What, tell us more about this whole experience. Yeah, I think he's going to enjoy this weightier feeling and find that there's a lot less frivolous feelings and activities there's a a much deeper sense of connectedness with the earth that he will definitely appreciate thank you now why was richard and this gentleman that we've visited chosen to receive this gift why were, why were they selected? 
What is it about Richard that made him the recipient of this energy? I can feel an answer. It's Sometimes the energy answer. is hard to put into words, so we just have to kind of let it, let it come. It's coming from a place that doesn't use the language. So let me. They, what comes to me is that is that they were they were both about to get distracted in a way that would have been difficult to pull out of. Okay. So now that he has this gift, he's going to go forward and use it. What type of activities or what type of, what, what does he to do with it? What is he going to do with this? What would you like him to know? How does he utilize this gift? Give him some guidelines to follow. There will be some stillness with it. I don't know externally if there will be, but there will definitely be a deep inner stillness. I'd like to ask the higher self, these experiences that we had today, is there anything else that you would like to tell us about all of this information that was given today? Everything is being rearranged. Mm -hmm. All the sensations and perceptions are being rearranged. <laughs> 